Hey guys, it's Diogo Trevisan. I'm here to talk about patella femoral dysfunction. It's a very common problem, but it's scary that so many people fail conservative treatment and end up in surgery. They end up having total knee arthroplasties that are very limiting in the beginning stages of the rehab post-surgical. So I'm here to explain really what happens during patella femoral dysfunction. As you guys can see in the image, the patella has a V-shape that runs in a V-shape groove in the femur. As you guys can notice from the image, the lateral aspect of the V angle is a little more flat. Therefore, the patella usually dislocates to the side or laterally. Women have larger pelvis because they deliver babies, so they increase what is called the Q angle. is an angle between the femur and the tibia, so the patella dislocates a little more easy to the side or laterally. So the static stabilizers that hold up the patella, you can see in the image, the medial patella femoral ligament and the vastus medialis obliquus. That, that muscle is a main stabilizer of the patella femoral joint. It holds the patella in place and when you bend your knee, it makes the patella run in that V track that you guys saw in the other image. Now, the patella is inside and outside of the capsule at the same time. The inner half, the retro patella is inside of the capsule. The outer half is outside of the capsule, which means any rubbing forces can cause inflammation so the capsule swells up that you can see in the image, the capsule swollen and inflamed due to patella femoral dysfunction. It can even cause Baker cyst, as you guys can see here. And most people go to the gym because the doctor tells them to exercise. You have to start your exercise program with quad sets, isometrics, contracting your quadriceps muscle with your knee full extension. You may use uh, electrostimulation to stimulate the VMO, you may progress little by little to close kinetic chain exercise that would be both feet placed on the floor or on the leg press, very lightweight. You don't need to bend your knee all the way to 90 degrees, I mean, much less. Break the 90 degree range. Um, and the last thing that you um, evolve the exercise to is open kinetic chain that would be leg extension. So remember to start your exercising with quad sets. That's a, an important piece of information. Some people go to strengthen on their own, start squatting and doing the whole shebang running, and they actually make it worse and increase the inflammation. Those people end up in surgery.